वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द एनी मशीनिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड दैट विल बी कॉल्ड टू बी अ मशीनेबिलिटी सो जनरली दिस टर्म इट विल बी यूज इन टू द एनी प्रोडक्शन और कैन सी एनी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सो दैट विल बी हैविंग इंपॉर्टेंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ द मेटल कटिंग सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द मशीनेबिलिटी so basically by the definitions it is defined as the ease with which the machining operations can be performed on to the work piece so that will be related with the characteristics are requires into the work piece materials so in that case of the machinability it is relative property of the materials which governs the difficult with which it can be machined under a given set of conditions so that set of conditions which will be depends upon the machines so basically feed speed depth of cut that hardness structure of the materials of the tool work piece everything so basically that will be all regarding for the machinability by the definition wise and that will be the most important part factors on which the machinability is being depends so let us start with that factors and that will be first one the basics and that will be the hardness so for metal cutting operations hardness which is having a important part so in that case our tool material must be harder than the work piece materials then and then you can easily controlling all the machinability characteristics so tool material must be harder than the work piece material so that will be the basic requirements for the machinability second one chemical composition of the work piece material so which kind of alloying elements is being added for manufacturing of that kind of materials that will be having a importance so for that how much percentage of that alloying elements which will be added during the production of that particular work piece material so that will be having a important parts or can say factors which will be governing the machinability or you can say that will be depends on to the machinability then third one microstructure so as a material engineer you can say metallurgy is so that will be having a important part so that will be the finer structure so that will be having a good characteristics of the material that will be the core structure so that will be having a another kind of characteristics so basically that will be depends upon the brittle or ductile materials so for the ductile materials that will be easy going process for the brittle materials that will be having a difficulties so the micro structure mechanical properties so mechanical property as a elasticity plasticity or you can say toughness of the work piece material that will be the major factors that will be affected on to the machinability of the product then after mechanical property it will be the cutting tool conditions so let us see so cutting conditions such as feed speed depth of cut and the cutting fluids etc so if there will be the different kind of feeds and speed and depth of cut which will be also the one kind of lathe machine parameters which will be also affected on to the machinability of the work piece materials so that will be having a major role to control the machinability of the materials then after tool geometry and tool rigidity and last one the tool geometry and the machine tool rigidity so during the cutting operations on any kind of machines our machine tool must be rigid because if it will be having a some kind of vibration so it will be having a difficult to cut our work piece material so for easily machinability of the products the tool geometry that will be having a important part so in case of the single point cutting tool there are the different kind of cutting tool angles it will be provided on to the tool 
for the easily cutting of the materials so that tool geometry it will be the important part or can say factors on which the machinability it will be depends now criteria for evaluating the machinability so according to the machinability the, there are the different kind of criteria like this so starting with tool life between grind so basically which kind of tool life of that particular tool materials for cutting of particular work piece material so generally that tool life it will be also depends on to the selection of the materials is being used as a work piece material so basically according to my work piece material like for ductile materials for brittle materials it will be a different tool lives so basically the tool life it will be depend on the type of the materials and that materials it will be also depend to the machinability so the criteria for evaluating the machinability that will be in terms of the tool life between the grinds the next quality of surface finish so how much accuracy and precision is required for the job and that will be also depends upon the machinability so that evaluating of the machinability that will be also in terms of the quality of the products in terms of the surface finish so if it will be having a good surface finish so that will be having a good machinability so in similar way that machinability it will be measured in terms of the quality of the finishing of our jobs the next temperature of cutting so we all know in the conventional machining operations tool and workpiece it will be in physical contact so always that will be the generating of the temperature because of that high level of the frictions developing between the tip of the tool and the workpiece surface so that will be increasing the temperature so how much temperature is being developing between that tool material and workpiece materials so that temperature of the cuttings that will be also that will be the evaluating criteria for the machinability then cutting force during the cutting operations so basically for cutting of the any kind of materials like brittle or ductile the basic requirement is the cutting force so basically how much amount of cutting force is required for particularly good surface finish or can say for the better cutting operations so always that force it will be the terms that will be help for evaluating the machinability of the jobs forms and size of the chips so basically forms that will be related with the geometry of the products and size of the chips so basically the size of the chips that will be in terms of the metal removal rate or can say mrr so how many how much amount of mrr it will be take place for that particular material with respect to that particular parameters so that will be also one kind of measurement of the machinability of the products then after once again metal removal rate so that will be basically the main criteria for evaluating the machinability of the products so how much time is required for cutting off such amount of the volume of the materials so that will be one criteria for the evaluating the machinability now the next topic that will be related with the machinability index so machinability index the machinability of the materials is rated by comparing its performance with that of the another materials considered to be a standard so always that workpiece material it will be compared with their standard materials and that standard material performance it will be compared by our selected materials then that will be having a machinability index so that index it will be called as a machinability index so basically each and every every our workpiece material that will be compared with the standard materials so the machinability index like this so the machinability index in terms of the percentage that will be calculated as cutting speed of materials for 20 minute to life divided by cutting speed of free cutting steel 
for 20 minute to live so one as a materials and that would be another as a standard materials and that would be multiplied by the 100 because of the in terms of percentage then you can easily calculating the machinability index for that particular materials and that will be compared with the standard materials now here just you can see the sum material machinability index it will be given over here so let us see so here C20 steel that will be having a 65 machinability index C45 steel that will be having a machinability index like 60 for stainless steel that will be 25 and the copper it will be 70 or you can say 70 so that will be for the standard materials the machinability index it will be given over here so in this video I think I all explaining about the machinability their factors and some of the parameters which will be affecting onto that and how to calculate the machinability index and some of the machinability index for the different kind of materials so I hope you understand this so if you like this then subscribe and share Modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much